to IST TV. Today's episode will be focusing on a very special visit in IST. You guessed it, Bruce Hale. Well, first of all, welcome to IST, Mr. Bruce Hale. We're so excited to have you here. Uh-huh. How are you liking Tanzania and IST so far? Well, it's been great fun. I got to go on a safari last week. See some of my relatives out there on the savannah, you know, some lions, some giraffes, cool stuff like that. The people here have just been fabulous. I'm having a great time. Yes. We have a f- few questions I- for you if it's all right. What are the common traps of aspired writers? Ah, that's a good question. There are a lot of problems that uh, beginning writers have, and one of the biggest is we get really critical of ourselves. You know, you write one sentence and you go, oh, that's terrible, no one's going to want to read this. So what I always tell people is your first draft, make it as messy and sloppy as possible. Just have fun with it and get some rough ideas on the page, and then come and fix it up, and that makes the writing much easier. What other authors are you friends with, and how do they help you become a better writer? Oh, let's see. Well, I'm friends with a bunch of different authors. Um, Bruce Coville, Lee Wardlaw, John Sheska, who wrote The Stinky Cheese Man. Um, I've met a whole bunch of other ones. And they help me be a better author because they write great books. When I read their books, I get inspired, and I'm going, I have to write a book that good. So we, we don't compete exactly, but we help each other and encourage each other to be better. All right, Mr. Bruce. So this question is, if you could tell your younger writer self anything, what would it be? Ah, I would tell my younger writer self to start earlier. I didn't start trying to be a writer until I was in my early 30s. So I'd tell my earlier self, go for it and have confidence and start when you first have the idea to do it. Brilliant. How many unpublished and half-finished books do you have? Oh, man. Here, let me try that for a second. I'll tell you, I have a lot of really bad stories. I wrote probably at least five or six when I was learning how to write. And since then, I've given up on maybe another four or five stories where I get maybe a page and go, this isn't working. So it's part of being a writer. Sometimes the idea is not at the right time, or sometimes it's just not that great an idea. Do you read your um, book reviews? Do I read my book reviews? Um, Yeah, actually sometimes I do. I try to avoid them when I'm in the middle of writing, because if it's a bad review, then I feel terrible. And I'm like, oh, I'm a terrible writer. But if it's a good review and my editor sends it to me, I say, oh, okay, I'll check this out. And sometimes it makes me happy. How do, you, how do you deal with bad ones and good ones? Uh, I try to remind myself that that's just somebody else's opinion. And it only will matter to me if I let it matter. There's a great quote that's like, all the water in the world won't drown me unless I get, let it get inside me. So I try not to let it get inside me. So much for your time. We appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. This has been great fun, and I've really enjoyed my visit to IST. Good luck on your next book tour. Bruce Hill, ladies and gentlemen.